Hey gang, it's Matt. It's Tuesday, so it's time for another edition of Canteen Cup Tuesday. However, as you can see, I'm not out in the woods because we are experiencing something that we experience all too often in the summer in the state of Florida. We're getting a tropical storm right now. I live on the east coast of Florida. The storm is going to stay off the west coast, thankfully, and it's supposed to be just a tropical storm, but we're already getting some pretty high winds and some rain bands are rotating through, so it's really not too good of a day to be out in the field. Uh, but uh, I, I want to show you one of my all-time favorites, uh, and it, it turns out really good and it's really, really easy to make. So please enjoy an encore edition of Canteen Cup Tuesday. And I'm going to cook up some bacon mac and cheese. Hope you enjoy it. All right, we're going to do a takeoff today of an old favorite of mine, uh, mac and cheese. Uh, I did spam mac and cheese and another couple of uh, uh, another types of mac and cheese. And doing that from the trail is really, really easy because, you know, you get the dry macaroni and and you got maybe a little bit of butter and the cheese sauce and, and the, the spam to put in is great. But... The next best thing to spam is bacon. Bacon goes great with everything. So we're going to do bacon mac and cheese today. Uh, it's going to be really, really easy, and I think it's going to come out really, really good. It's going to be easily duplicatable on the trail or in the campsite, uh, and uh, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, so without further ado, let's get going. All right, here we go. It's kind of tough because it's kind of breezy today, so I had to find a little sheltered spot. So, as you can see, we got uh, my old favorite, the Luxata folding stove out with the, uh, with the burner, although it is not a Trangia, so I've been told. Got my little um, hanger wire modifications on there. We're gonna do about well, we're going to do about two ounces. All right, that's going. We are going to put in half a thing, half a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. All right. I haven't spilled anything yet, which is good. Okay, we're gonna put in about only about eight ounces of water because it's only a half a it's only a half of a box of mac and cheese. And we're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna let that boil up. Now, since there's nothing more exciting than watching water boil, <laughs> I'll come back when we're rolling. Okay, our water's heating up. Remember, when I thought this Canteen Cup Tuesday stuff up, these were supposed to be really, really easy duplicatable things. So remember, these don't have to be complicated. Uh, they just have to be easily duplicatable from the trail. As a plane goes over. God, I love living near the airport. And this is, uh, this is one of the easiest ones. We're just gonna cook up a little mac and cheese. Oh yeah starting to get hot now remember it doesn't have to be complicated I've seen some really really elaborate canteen cup meals and you know I can't believe what people are cooking but do a search on YouTube and it comes out with almost 5,000 references to canteen cup Tuesday now so if you want to try it if you're new to my channel uh, just make sure your your bell icon is on and your privacy settings are set to where I know that you subscribe to me And I'll subscribe right back to you and get out there start doing some canteen cup meals. So to do to do to do uh, I'm waiting for this water to boil All right, it looks like we're starting to pump now Oh, you guys those two little pieces of hanger wire that I put on the Luxata just totally transformed the stove uh, it, it was it was good before, but it's really good now. Oh, look at that! Woo oh yeah! All right. 
we're gonna I know this is very exciting we're gonna cook this macaroni and cheese up we're gonna cook this macaroni up and we're gonna get around on the uh, on the side of the table out of the wind and I'm gonna show you the next step so stay with me all right here we go I spared you the part about boiling the water and cooking up the, the macaroni and draining it out. And there's nothing special about that. Trust me, there's nothing special about that. I, you didn't miss anything. I didn't spill anything this time. I didn't spill it all over the place like I usually do yet. So now we're going to uh, take a little look at our mac. All right. Mm. And that's about, a, that's about a half a canteen cup full of macaroni. That's looking pretty good. All right. We'll get about a half a pouch of our cheese sauce. Now, I don't have any, this is, this is the down and dirty way with no butter and no milk. All right, this is just kind of, uh, you know, because you, if you're cruising around or hiking and you're cruising around the trail, it's kind of hard to carry milk. So, and you'll notice that I'm using my wonderful dollar store spoon. All right, we're just gonna mix this up. All right, that's looking pretty, pretty cheesy. All right, take pretty good. Now, we'll move outside. Got a few pieces of bacon. All right, and got some pre-cooked bacon here. Cause you, you could have had that. You know, we got three, four pieces of bacon. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna kinda use our bag to crunch up the bacon. Into as much bacon bits as we can get, all right? Big hunks of bacon in there, oh yeah. All right, now. Put a couple piece of bacon in there. Mix it up. All right. I think we need one more piece of bacon. Everything tastes better with bacon. Bacon and coffee. That's the that's the ticket. Bacon and coffee. All right. Now. Got three slices of bacon in there. <laughs> Boy, that's looking pretty good. Thicken it up with a little bit of, little bit of Italian style breadcrumbs. All right. Okay. One. About two teaspoons of breadcrumbs. Okay. This is starting to look not too bad for a basically a thrown together canteen cup Tuesday because I was out on an appointment this morning, so I got back a little bit late. Now, nothing would really be complete without more cheese, all right? Shredded cheese on top. Man, this is really like volumizing. All right. That's, now it's about three quarters of a canteen cup. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Cristal hot sauce. Let's see what we got. Just a dash. Mmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh man. That is so good. <laughs> That's so good. Check that out. Ooh, bacon and hot sauce and macaroni and cheese. Mmm. Man, so all it is is half a box crap 
<coughs> hot sauce, excuse me. Half a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, half a pouch of the cheese sauce. Boil up the macaroni and cheese. You know, it, it took me, I don't know, five or six minutes. You know, probably eight or ten ounces of water. You know, it didn't really need to be the whole stick, two cups. So it boiled up pretty quick. Uh, boil up the macaroni, drain it. Throw the cheese sauce in there. Throw the bacon in there. Throw two teaspoons of uh, breadcrumbs in there. Some shredded cheese. Some Cristal hot sauce. Just to give it a little bit of character. So now we got bacon mac and cheese. Very easily duplicatable on the trail. Light. You can, carry, you can pack it in almost anything. You know, you could have mixed the breadcrumbs and the cheese up. Uh, in in macaroni and cheese sub uh, bag if you wanted to and carried it all together it would have worked out great so remember bushcraft and survival and hiking doesn't have to be expensive go look at my video that I did yesterday on bushcraft done on a budget uh, and, and it'll tell you that I got most of the stuff here's my dollar store spoon uh, I'm gonna put a link below to the Rothko stainless steel canteen cup uh, and lid and uh, I, I have links to everything uh, the, that I buy and uh, believe me I, I find the cheapest way to do it that I possibly can so remember on the left hand side of the screen you're gonna see some some suggested videos uh, on upper right hand corner you're gonna see my subscription bubble and as usual coming to you from Central Florida on Tuesday canteen cup Tuesday this is Matt from Florida boy survival and I will see you on the trail <laughs>